The theme of today's video is UPS's uninterruptible power supplies. Hold on. <laughs> it weighs a ton. And I'm joined here today by Janaxon. So free lunch on me today, Janaxon. Janaxon is one of our newest product sales specialists. And when you consider the time and effort that goes into programming a control system for an application, why not safeguard that investment when a power outage occurs? We have here today the Adam Bradley 1609. And Jenna, can you tell us more about why you should be using a UPS? can try, yeah. So as Darren mentioned, we put a lot of time and investment into our control systems. Minimal downtime is essential, and uh, UPS allows you to gracefully shut down your industrial PC or recover a control system after a power fault. We have the option of an Ethernet IP card that allows you to integrate with the broader Rockwell Connectors Enterprise or Studio 5000 software. Mm -hmm. And you've got a pretty cool form factor that isn't available with many other UPSs. Uh, it's an industrial UPS, so it allows you to panel mount it onto the bottom uh, okay. or into the back of the panel. Okay. Hard wiring is also pretty cool. So unlike C13 or C14 jacks that you use in normal UPSs, we can hardwire straight in for input and output on these. So that's like the kettle leads, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. We've got a free offer, haven't we? Okay. And if by magic, so uh, we've got a free accessory. So, so why is this accessory so important? So this is a Ethernet card. Um, so the UPS is fully functional without it. Uh, but with this, you can do some remote management. Uh, you can pull some data through from the UPS. So mm -hmm. very basic power management, uh, power status. Uh, you can do some logging and also you can pull through the tags on this, so stick it into your SCADA uh, application for example. So quick, get a lot of data out from the uh, UPS. And free for a limited time. Right, cool. So just a quick run through of the UPS. We've got your input and output terminals just there. They've got knockouts on the bottom so the wires nice and neatly push through. We've got our batteries that go into this slot here and connect into that connector. And then finally the awesome 1609 e -net. And that just slides into that way. And has a little tiny faceplate that tells you what all the connections are for. So if you're interested, okay, in talking about the 1609, or obviously, okay, talking to Janaxon, please get in touch if you want to know more about our range of UPSs. Also subscribe to the Retico YouTube channel today and look out for the next Jim Weave Spearing video. Get innovating now. Off for lunch, Janaxon. Let's go. <laughs> This month's gin I've been enjoying has been recommended as being able to change colour. It's the Illusionist gin. 